and I'm Gavin. Um, we currently have um, three children in foster care with us. Uh, one boy who is seven, a girl that's 15 and a girl, another girl that's 15 that's nearly 16. And we also have um, a 22 year old who's been with us since she's nine, but she's now in. Well, she's, she's um, not classed in foster care anymore, but she still lives at home with us. You know, we've had her a long time, so she's become part of the family. So, And we also provide respite care to um, two young boys, um, one who's 12 and one who's nine. Fostering children has had a massive impact on our um, child, who's eight, a little boy. Um, he's very sensitive, compassionate, uh, he likes to share and he likes the new children coming in and out of the house. He makes friends um, and it's made him a more uh, well-rounded child really. Um, and he's caring and he's ready to help us, help them I suppose. Kids who come in sometimes they don't really want to open up to you or speak to you and they feel they feel like you know they, they can't speak to you because you're an adult and Jesse will come alongside them just in a childlike manner, natural, you know, she'll give him a toy or you know, offer him what's some of his sweets or something like that. And you know, he he's a massive, massive part of our foster our fostering journey and you know, without him it wouldn't be the same, you know. We're fortunate to have a you know, beautiful you know, dear son. Fostering for me is it's a vocation. You know, I absolutely love the kids that we foster, the kids that come into our homes. Um, sometimes they come and they're angry. They they've got all you know big big chip on their shoulder because of what they've been through or what they are currently going through. And I actually enjoy you know getting getting to know them. You know, trying to build them up positively and you know seeing them go from quiet, withdrawn, you know, low self esteem to you know independent. You know go-getters really and that's to me that's that's something that that's that's the, that's the reason I went into it and being a parent to somebody else's children sometimes is a lot harder because they come to you they've got things they need to work through but you haven't got an attachment with them so you need to work on that attachment build that attachment when you've got that it becomes very very rewarding because you basically reap what you sow and the attachment gets stronger and for you get stronger and they become sensible and hopefully responsible young people. I'd say fulfilling really. Um, someone once said to me that leave the world a better place than when you entered it and I think that by fostering, you know, and giving a bit of yourself to each of those foster children so that they know as they've grown up, you know, they've always got a home for their heart with you in your home, you know, they can always come back and you know, that's really fulfilling to know that they, that they leave here they still come back, still part of our big family. Um, my role model is journey because every time you meet a new child that comes to stay with us, um, you enter into a journey with that child and it's about creating that journey and making that journey a positive one and one that's going to lay foundations for the future for their lives and hopefully we can learn from them at the same time. The fostering process was fantastic, we've got to be fair, I felt that um, we had all our questions answered. Um, the support we've had from Torvai is second to none. You know, we've been fortunate to have a very good support worker who's you know, who's consistent, been there for us all the way throughout. You know, we, we've had the same support worker all the way through and that's, that's been fantastic because they get to know you, they know your strengths and they know when it comes to children, matching children to you as a placement, they get to know you and what, what you know, what will fit for your family, which I think is, important for the you know, children's lives really. Uh, the only thing I would add is that so all the social workers, even with the children that we've had, um, they've all been positive and kind of got on board with us and we've got on board with them, been able to help the children, so it never really over really.